using this background of uh, an alfalfa hay field to talk to you today about both sulfur and potassium fertilization on alfalfa hay. A 10 ton alfalfa crop will need 50 pounds of phosphorus per acre, but it'll need 55 pounds of sulfur for that same 10 ton yield increase. So sulfur is really an important application. You can put it on a course with your phosphate as a dormant application, but there's also places in season when that sulfur is going to be of value to you. The Sulfur Institute has found that when sulfur was added to the fertilizer program in alfalfa fields in Washington, the trials ended up averaging a 9% yield increase. In Idaho, sulfur addition gave them a 60% yield increase. So we know that sulfur is really important when it comes to alfalfa production. So some of those in-season application opportunities, thiosol would be a good fit. The key to getting in a response with liquid fertilizer in season is to put that on with the irrigation system on the stubble of the cutting. So whether that's the stubble of the first cutting like this is, uh, this this was bale last night, so the water is now on and this is the first time water's been put across this field after that cutting was taken off. Great time to put thiosol on. Uh, in this area, a standard program would be about five gallons of thiosol to the acre. Some of the original research trials that we've done with thiosol applied at this time at five gallons to the acre. We've gotten uh, upwards of a quarter of a ton of alfalfa yield increase for that next cutting with increased protein. We've also done split applications, looking at two gallons of thiosol uh, applied um, on the stubble of the second cutting and two gallons of the stubble of the, uh, the stubble of the third cutting. And again, found about a quarter of a ton or so increase with increased protein. So sulfur is important and thiosol would be an opportunity to use sulfur in season. Remember to put it on the, the stubble of the cutting and put it on through the water if possible. Now potassium is a little bit different story. A 10 ton alfalfa crop needs 475 pounds of potassium. And again, uh, there's opportunity for potassium in season with KTS. One of the first trials that I ever did with KTS, I looked at applying two gallons of KTS to the acre on the stubble of the third cutting and two gallons per acre on the stubble of the fourth cutting. Again, I got about a quarter of a ton increase of protein. So my quality and my yield went up. We thought these were pretty good results, so our sales team went out and we started promoting this uh, to the dealers and to the growers. The growers were interested and saw the value of doing something like that. But in the end, they didn't want to mess with multiple applications. So what started were that the growers just decided on their own to put on five to seven gallons of KTS to the acre after on the stubble of the, of the first cutting and then just call it good for the season. I said, what are you finding? And the growers said, well, what we've seen, that next cutting is real lettucey looking. And I said, what are you, what are you talking about? So it's real standing up. It's got a, a good color and it's real, um, uh, uh, turgid and I said okay so visually they were seeing something which is always good doesn't mean it gave them a yield response but but that's always good and come to find out from Washington and Oregon clear to Nebraska nobody did my my uh, suggestion of split applications in season they didn't want to do that they all used anywhere from five to seven gallons of KTS applied on the stubble of the first cutting called it good for the season so the anecdotal data, after doing this for a few years, they said, Mike, we, we're getting not only uh, increased yields in season, but an, an increased quality in protein and relative feed value, but we're also seeing our first cutting the, the next year is getting better and better. So they felt they were getting some kind of a cumulative effect. Plus they had finer stems and they had the leaves that would stay on that stem uh, all the way, all the way down uh, through harvest. And so we told this story for quite a few years with no data. And I decided that we probably needed to look at some data and trying to get some quantitative measurement of what these growers were already doing. 
So what we ended up doing was at our research farm in Dinuba, California, uh, I set up a trial to where we looked at three rates of KTS, five, seven, and 10 gallons to the acre, applied once on the stubble of the first cutting. And then we would just take subsequent measurements of yield through the other cuttings, quality measurements, and et cetera. So after two years, what we found is that the five gallons of KTS per acre works the best. We got increased nitrogen, TDN, lower acid detergent fiber, and higher relative feed value. And so far after two years, we have four and a half more tons of alfalfa to the acre with just one five gallon KTS application on the stubble of the first cutting and then, and then repeating that each year. So we're starting, it looks like those growers uh, knew better than we did of how to use KTS out in that field. So whether you need in-season sulfur as a thiosol or in-season potassium as KTS, I think both of those products can be good tools to use in your quest for higher yields and better quality.